SureDog.com, it's Ant Walker. I'm here with the man himself, Martin. How you doing? <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to see you live first. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. So we definitely had a good conversation uh, not that long ago, and here we are sitting together ahead of the Fighter Awards for 2019. KSW has been nominated, especially pretty cool since you just announced the heavyweight title fight, KSW 50, 50th yes. event, heavyweight title fight. Tell me what you're feeling uh, going into such a milestone. You know, it's been crazy 15 years since we started our first show. So, you know, after 15 years, the fifth, you know, very, very special event is coming up, Wembley, 14th of September this year. And you know, also we have the main event, uh, Phil De Fries with uh, Grabowski, two really great guys, really powerful. Um, Phil, since you know we, we signed him, he's been really great and showing his skills like you know incredible. So um, people kind of in Poland sort of underestimate him, you know. But for the last couple of fights, he's just showing that he's the one, the right person on the right spot with the right belt. And Damien, he just had the first uh, fight um, on the previous show, and just we decided to give him another shot, another another fight, and this is the title fight. But he's, he's been uh, very well known in Poland for years. He used to fight in U UFC, also he used to fight in M1. So probably he will end up his career in KSW, which I'm really happy for it. Nice. Well, we have plenty of time to talk about KSW 50 uh, because it's coming up in September but tonight are those fighter awards KSW is nominated for promotion of the year I, I how you feeling man you you went from you know uh, starting up this promotion with a buddy that you met working at a hotel right and, and now to be at the fighter awards second time being nominated if I'm not mistaken second no third third time, third time third time yes third time yeah it's you know it's an honor it's it's um, I'm, I'm excited just to be here to see how it uh, how the run the show will be run you know met a lot of nice people and it's you know I'm into the MMA so uh, it just feels great you know of course uh, I'm realistic <laughs> <laughs> nobody is going to come here to pick up the awards so uh, we just we, I mean I came just uh, just to see and just uh, you know do, do some business talk to meet people like you and you know <laughs> many others who I had a pleasure to talk only on the phone Skype or what's up so yeah just you need to be in the business to do the business you know? right so. yeah so um so you're enjoying your time in Vegas right now yeah so far we went actually I'm came here with my family with my daughter and my wife so uh, you know we've been just only two days I've been in Vegas three times already that's my third time uh, the first time I was with my business partner on Pride so that was the first show when Pride was outside of Japan yes yeah, so in Pavel Nastula our judo olympic champion was fighting there and he actually after a couple years he signed with ksw mm, and then i came this uh, second time was for the ufc when also a couple polish fighters were fighting and the third time here i am all right yeah, so for the mma awards first you know and you reminded me of something because you talked about uh judo mm -hmm. and the judo federation has been the main thing blocking uh the legalization of mma in france you being uh, a heavy promoter in Europe, uh, is France on the radar now? Not now. Of course, it is like every country is. But honestly speaking, they they will be legal January 2020. We have a great fighter, uh, Saladin Pagnas, and he's been really doing uh, huge progress. So maybe in the future that will be something we can think of. Um, I'm saying that you need to have the, the, the local hero just to go to the country. You mm -hmm. just can't go, uh, like for example, with the KSW 50, we have Phil the Freys, you know, he's British. So that's why we can go to, to, to England. Of course, it's not the only um, bridge we are going to hire for that event, but also with the France or Germany, which, which is on our radar, or, or any um, uh, Balkan countries, we are also looking to do a show there. So you need to have the fighter. So Saladin is the one for sure. He is the one, but I would be more kind of uh, skeptic and see how it goes because they will be legal from January next year. But it will take time. You know, probably people are going just to to rush to to build the MMA scene very quick because they are kind of behind from mm. the rest of the world. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But of course, you know, France is a, is a great country and. It was a shame that you know within the Europe, one of the major country, 
doesn't respect or, or recognize this uh, discipline as a sport. So that was kind of a shame. So I was glad when I heard that the Ministry of Sport, I don't remember the lady's name, she said that it's like kind of absurd why we are not, uh, why it's illegal. So so since she said till the, the action, real action, it took uh, really short time. All right. All right, Martin. So uh, obviously, you know, you started off as a fan. Mm -hmm. I started off as a fan. Anybody working in the business of mixed martial arts at some point in time was just a fan. So um, being able uh, to be here for, you know, UFC 239 is, is, is in the place, uh, fighter awards and get to see all the big names and stuff. Are, are you feeling more like a fan than, right than a now? promoter right now? <laughs> no, actually, you know, I'm so long in the business that right now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't want to say it and it's, it, it will be sound badly or, or treated in a different way but we create the MMA also so when you are such a in, in deep process of creating and building MMA from in Poland we, we build it from scratches you know Poland was really bad country for MMA 15 years ago so we feel like the pioneers you know we feel like you know the leaders of the, that market and and um, so being in so many details I feel like more a part of the structure but of course you have to be a fan from one side you know otherwise you just lose the attention you mm -hmm. lose the kind of fun watching yeah. that you know and doing that you know so but of course it's a business you know I quit the job in Marriott uh, it was risky time for me uh, um, start doing uh, MMA open my marketing agency so it has to be a business it has to be something which is well paid off otherwise I wouldn't you know concentrate all my life doing this you know so so from one side and this is the major side is the business it has to be a business I feel like a promoter but of course you need to like what you do so that's why I'm also <laughs> <laughs> all right um, so last time we talked you mentioned uh, there were efforts with KSW to co-promote with Bellator and you had some conversations with Scott Coker about it of course I'm, I'm sure Scott Coker will be here um, as, as Bellator is nominated as well um, are those talks continuing and, and especially given uh, the the extra attention they've gotten with their co-promotion with Ryzen yeah actually I know Scott he's um, the promoter I know from the old mm, promotion around the world I know the best I have met him a couple of times already in US in London I mean in San Diego in London uh, in Japan in Tokyo so we had a chance to talk we do some kind of exchange of the fighters or we exchange the information and actually for the KSW 15 on Wembley at Wembley uh, London I tried to do one thing with him but I can't tell right now because mm -hmm. we are we didn't agree yet so but yeah I want to you know do more kind of closer cooperation not only with Balata but I think with Rising also because you know I was really a big fan of Saki Kabara and the pride that's why I came to the business because of the pride mm -hmm. because what they did um, but also it's a bit uh, more difficult to build a relation with Japanese because of the, you know the culture the mentality everything's were um, from my point of view it looks it takes long mm -hmm. you know longer right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, I definitely wanted to ask you, um, you know, I know you're a busy man, so I'm not going to hold you up too long, but right. I wanted to ask you about some free agency going on right now in mixed martial arts. John Lineker, news just broke um, this morning. I actually got the news about 2 in the morning when mm -hmm. I randomly woke up. Mm -hmm. But John Lineker is now a free agent. Is this is this a guy that interests you? Are you can you see him I mean, fighting KSW? Honestly speaking, everybody who is you know, out of uh, UFC and never fought for KSW and has a decent record and uh, did a great job there in UFC because sometimes they release fighters because I don't know they cut uh, the, the the fighters from the the weight categories or there are some um, stories which they don't like and I don't care doing this around the Europe you know because of the commission issue mm -hmm. or stuff like that so um, but yeah I didn't know that he's been a, a, a free agent uh, to be honest like every fighter not only from UFC but globally uh, uh, we have a special person who is looking for such talents or people who we might hire um, so it's happening um, like on constant basis everyday life mm -hmm. so, yeah. so I guess that, that kind of answers the question but I, I need to ask it anyway because there is an outcry right now about Brendan Lachman who was snubbed on the contender series yeah. being a European uh, fighter 
Uh, is this a call that's already been made? Actually, this guy, yes. This guy, I'm in touch with him. We are talking about some financial condition. So, but probably the, the, the problem is when, you know, the fight is being out, so everybody is trying to, you know, sign him. And I know that I'm competing with Juan, I'm competing with Bellator. So this is kind of ridiculous also because we are putting, you know, too much money on the table and this guy is, oh, we'll take this or that, you know. It's, of course, money is important part of the game, but still, I think that the promoters are fighting, uh, fighting for the fighters sometimes are just screwing up the whole business you know and the fighters who who doesn't have such a popularity doesn't have such a name doesn't have you know the, the sales force uh, um, because I need to as a businessman treat it you know when whatever I'm paying how much is going to get me in the future mm -hmm. you know how much ticket he's going to sell how much pay-per-view he's going to sell so I need to kind of what it's called what's the word for uh, um, to make it uh, not valid, but um, uh, make it cost effective. Yeah, like sort mm -hmm. of cost effective, but they put it this way. So, and also, you know, but I'm in touch with him. We'll see how it goes. I want him to fight for Lo on London show. Uh, he's from there, so that would be a good asset. But we'll see how it goes. But this is the guy which I really like to have on, on the London fight card. That definitely. Nice. So, last one for me. Um, and I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Is there, are there any matchups, anything in particular about KSW that you want to break some news for exclusively for SureDog.com? <laughs> um, you should, I mean, catch me yesterday <laughs> so I would do the main event, you know, for London. No, but, damn, you know, we've been, you know, through so many uh, fight cuts already. We have planned, you know, the whole year. I'm planning another two years. Uh, so probably I'll call you back later <laughs> and let you know because I need to schedule with my promotional team so I don't make, you know, day edge of more miserable. <laughs> why? No, it shouldn't be like that. Yes, I would like to have it. But yeah, why not? We'll do some exclusive especially for you. All okay? right, sounds good. All <laughs> That's right. the promise. <laughs> All right, Martin. Thanks right. again for your time. Appreciate you. Uh, KSW50 taking place in September in right. London. And uh, I will see you at the awards, man today yeah in few hours all right <laughs> all right thank yes you. sir thank you <laughs>